Hello there everyone and welcome back. My war with Mershaw is finally over, and with it a nice handful of colonies to call my own. And now, it's time to prepare for my next phase, which I think is going to slowly deal with the Darlocks here, which are, quite frankly are like my next door neighbors, even though it doesn't quite appear like it. It's just this damn little wormhole that I conveniently got some sensor nets established, that I can just go straight into my back door. Uh, so I think the plan is to start setting myself up with that. We're going to build up our infrastructure. I'm probably going to irritate them by getting as much trade as possible in with the Sarak, which they're currently at war with. And then we'll work from there. Because quite frankly, I don't think I need to go to war with them right away, as tempting as that is. Only thing is, that would be way too easy and be really uneventful and probably not very exciting. So what we're going to do is just focus on tanking our re reputation or relations with them and see if they're going to try and fight a war on two fronts I want them to make the first move that sounds a lot more devious again not exactly exciting because I feel like I'm gonna stomp the Darlocks no matter what if I get a good handful of turns to establish myself but let's deal with these pirate ships let's deal with the issue it's sought let's start repairing these fleets and actually start getting myself reorganized I think is the name of the game here so everything that's not damaged which is really just three of them are gonna go back towards my home system there we're gonna go to LO3 possibly upgrade them and guard the wormhole I think is the name of the game there I have two ships here to guard this uh, this connection point here to Jogum Prime because we have still have a damn pirate sh station or pirate yeah pirate plant to deal with, and I lack destroyers to just strip to sh get rid of it. But this one up here should not be an issue once that Ravager is dealt with. Ooh, and I had options for upgrade right there, but I think I need to take some time to establish my upgrades how with how I want to make my eagle. To my liking, at least. Let's see. So annual tributes done, and I got one. Ooh, that's that's some nice credits there. Needless to say, so more train agreements is a must. I feel like. So I lost my train of thought from all that spam, though. I forget what I was saying. We're just gonna custom build some of my ships there, cause I've been basically just using the stock variant of the frigate and destroyers for all this time. So. It'll be nice to have something to call my own, quite frankly. Because I'm already pretty happy with the performance of the Eagle. I just don't know if it's quite optimal. This is the only thing due to my lack of experience with this game. So, infrastructure continues. How's pollution level looking? Pollution level is looking fine. So we'll start with the cheap stuff. Security. I don't think I care about defenses so much. If anything, I'll probably save those. Save that for last. Also... Let's keep trade relations going. It's probably working out well for him, right? Let's see. Oh. I thought it was ending. Huh. Oh yeah, trade tree, why is that? Oh. Well, that explains it. If they don't have the money, they're kind of broke. That's a little unfortunate. I wonder if I can help them with that. Also, can I grab some of this armor, or tech, like this Neutronium armor, which I kind of, like, uh, neglected to grab. I'd be willing to do that. Now this is a fair deal. Yeah, that's kind of funny, because I think Neutronium armor was alongside with the Pulsar missiles, so... That's kind of simple enough. And I will give them a... Well, can I even get a sense of what their credit income is like? Because I would like to give them a tribute to kind of continue trade relations, but... Don't think that's going to happen. But non-aggression pack is sure to really tick off the Darlocks, so let's do it. Fine. Be that way. I was trying to be nice. Yeesh. He's got a temper. Maybe it's because I'm not really on good relations with them. Because seeing as I'm still a little bit below neutral, so that might be why they're not willing to do it right away. And continue relations with Cylons, although problem is, I can't really research it, give them any tech, can I? Ooh, I actually can. This might be interesting. 
Let's give them some armor to help deal with their war threat they're having. And actually, I'm curious, what would they would be willing to trade for Neutronium armor? I find this an equitable Seriously? Seriously? Come on, you're mocking me. You're mocking me right now. So, this is amusing. I want to try and help you, but you're not making it very easy for me. I'm afraid it's objectively not feasible. Wow. It's not even worth any credits there. They're just insulting me even more. So much for that, huh? I find this an equitable arrangement. Can I just exchange for simple tech? I know they have a lot of tech there, but can I, is there something cheap or simple to at least say I got something out of this? Like train facility would be nice. What would make this work? I find this an equitable arrangement. <sighs> is that too valuable? It might be too valuable, damn it. Okay, fine. I tried to be nice. Cylons, you're making it difficult for me. You're like elves. You think you're all high and mighty or something. That you need extra tribute. That's the sense I'm getting, at least. Meaningful exchange furthers understanding. Well, this is interesting. Didn't I just try to trade with you and you were not really cooperating? Let's see. This is restricted to Gaia, Terran, Ocean. So I have a few of those. So this will be useful for research. So I'll happily take it. I kind of forget what I just gave him. Did I give him Neutronium Armor or was it something else? Either way, it's still useful. I think it's safe to say. Also, destroy this Ravager. Get rid of it. Hopefully it didn't take much damage. Nah, I took a little bit of armor damage. That stinks. And then was it just a damn Ravager versus all that? How the hell did it survive such an onslaught that long? I gotta ask. Let's see... Trade. Okay, yeah, that's deep sea cooling. I, I'm trying to remember what it is I traded for from. But I'm not going to know anytime soon, am I? Oh, that's probably a colony. That's what that's representing. And there's an outpost there, so I don't think I want my scout to go and commit suicide just yet. And another colony there, I think it's safe to say. Especially since one of the ships just magically appeared from there. I'm going to assume it was just built at least. And with these two space factors, what can I do? Let's see, that's a gas giant. Ooh, two gas giants. So I can make use of that. I just need a colony there first. Is there anywhere else I can utilize stations and all that? Maybe just an outpost. So it begs the question, do I want to build an outpost here first prime or try and expand a little bit first? I think it's safe to say I built an outpost here for now. Ooh, and there's another pirate station up there, which thankfully is not bothering me, so I'll let- I don't have to worry about that. So, I'll post here. We'll keep it simple, rather than try and be greedy, because I got all this other- I got all these systems in my back door, basically, to kind of colonize, so I don't think I'm worried. I just gotta remember there's a space seal somewhere around here. I think it's in this system, Wog Prime. Woggy Prime? Woggy 3? I just I like to say WOG because it reminds me of the orcs. Warhammer style. Can you blame me? I don't think you can. Assume you know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways. This is nice and relaxing, I gotta say. Not much war, not much tension, but then again, after once I got my momentum going, was there really any, any tense moments where I might get denied? I seriously doubt it. So what do I need for this other stuff? Is it just upgrades? That's for gas giant, okay. That's for, oh, that's like tech I got to terraform, so okay. And there was something for reconstructing asteroid belts. Oh, there is. Oh, that's something I should do. I was not considering that I could actually make artificial plants. That was kind of a bit of a, I kind of neglected that a little bit, didn't I? I could get more value out of it that way. Ooh, what's this? Oh, they just founded a colony there. Ooh, the Clackons are not going to be happy with them, I think. And quite frankly, I'm I'm going to be quickly expanding to near that area too, so... I don't know how I feel about that. And what is this? 
That's just a stamp frigate. It looks like a block. I hate to say it looks like a block. But with this new spy, where am I lacking that could use some spies to protect it? Foxtrot, where would you go? Where are my highest production worlds? That's an ocean that's got lots of population, so maybe it would be worth putting in Stelio for now. Probably not the highest priority I could put in, like EM4, I don't think I have anyone. Yeah, I don't have anyone EM4. Take a DM4 instead, once I get back to my espionage. Oh, he's already moving, so I can't do that. Another blunder. Adding to the list. But, you know how I'm going to take it out? Take all this frustration out? On the pirates. Now, what do we get? Mm, we get ourselves some credits. Can't argue about that. And we're just going to start flying back and holding down my points there some. For the time being. Get ourselves established. Keep the scout scouting. Although there's not really much left to scout is there. All the systems have been explored. It's just a matter at this point of finding ideal plants that are within my uh, territory. Or the border of my territory at least that I can colonize really. And this scout is not doing it for me with where it is right now. So I might have to send that back. So Robo Miner's done, let's see. The production's going really nicely there, I gotta say. Terraforming, ooh, that's so tempting right now. And its population or pollution is going down, so I think we're okay. Just continue with all this other stuff. And then we'll terraform. Because I don't think I need the radiation shield just yet. Not yet here. And I do have colony ships building too, a good handful of them. And Altair Prime, so we're gonna start expanding really quickly here. Welcome. Oh, what's going on here? Wow. It's war between the Barathe and the Cylons, so... I may want to keep a good eye on the Cylons there. I should try and help them out. But it's not well in my favor if I'm going to start ticking off the Darlocks, so I got to be very careful. Let's see, they almost got the 400 credits they need for our trade agreement, so I'll agree with that soon. Once that's available. Because I am profiting nicely from that, so why not continue that going? Why not keep that going, in all honesty? Not to mention, I'm starting to swim in wolf I need to start spending, don't I? And apparently my profits are dropping incredibly quickly with all the structures being built. So I do need to keep an eye on that. Pollution's growing again on LO3, so I gotta be careful of that. So what do I need here? Faster buyout, because I'm probably gonna use this for my buyout system, or at least production system, so why not do that? Security. And I would love to terraform. Yeah, there's so many things I would love to get. In all honesty, spaceport will definitely help. Terraforming seems like a must, especially now it's max population. Can I just rush a terraform? Wow, that's like the one thing you can't rush, so never mind that thought. That would be kind of gaming the system a little bit, wouldn't it? Uh, where? Okay. I thought I had colony ships building, maybe something else built. What built at Altair Prime? Nothing that I can tell here, so. I don't know what just happened. Let me rush some colony ships then. Because I got money to spin. And I actually have uh, infrastructure to keep building for these lower quality systems, so... It's worth doing. It's worth doing. Let's see, marine barracks for defending itself. Just keep everything going and watch the pollution levels, that's important. Which already soft too is... Below the threshold of the pollution, at least, so I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. It's coming along nicely. Is there anything else for pollution? Not really, besides just stop building, I guess. Oh, there it is. Toxic processor. Let's rush that. Actually, let me rush the soil enrichment first so it doesn't starve itself. Oh, well, that was a mistake. It was already not starving itself. That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, it's on the perfect balance. Or was. 
Oh, that's why. Because I took one that was striking and put it back on the food. That's why. There we go. For us, Prime is perfectly fine. Str pollution is dropping. There's a lot of other things I can do. We'll worry about that once they start seeing things my way with the... Was it conditioning that I have with the alien management center? Outpost is done, perfect. Now I'm starting to run out of things I would like to do with these space factories, which is a little bit irritating, but actually, let me go back to this asteroid lab. Can I actually start con artificially reconstructing it? Yeah, I can. Let's see how exactly that works. Especially when I already got a lab there. Let's see, some combat just happened of some kind, it just didn't want to show me. So I'm not sure what exactly that was. I heard something explode. That's all I really know. So research complete. Prime systems. Let's see. Everything's going well here. And did that take a population? Yeah, it actually did. And guess what? I got so much food, it looks like it's going to grow back in a turn. So why not just keep rushing it? A little bit. I'm not going to go completely crazy with the rushing, but with my victory... Against the Mershaw, why not just go a little bit crazy, shall we? It's just a matter of figuring out what plants I want to go to that are ideal. Because there are a lot of... Ooh, ultra-rich, high-gravity, but I don't think I have the tech for that yet. There's so many options, so why not just focus on grabbing on as many systems as possible. So, we have a choice of a flat food bonus or... Uh, food per civilian b bonus. This is really tough to, to judge. Because water control might be good for... Well, worst case, I could just trade to get the other one. So I'm going to go with what seems better in theory. Grab the... What is it? The food buff there for each war farmer. So I can get more value out of each farmer there. And I have enough of the food buildings to kind of help me match up the population. So what the hell do I get? So gravity generators, what is this? This is what I was looking for. I was just thinking about it. Ooh, and jump gates as well. And I don't have to choose out of any of them. So why the hell not go with this tech? It's going to help with so many of the plants that are low gravity and high gravity. Once I get it built. Also, I forgot about the Sarak, so I need to go over and trade with them. Get that tr trade tree going once more. Because I'm starting to drop in profit really quickly from all this infrastructure, I'm realizing. So, come on. Seriously, you just spent all your money, you jerks. Well, so much for that. Can I get anything else? Telepathic train sounds good. It's going to help with my Darlock issue. I'll happily trade fighter bays for you. Quite frankly, I haven't been using them yet, have I? Which actually, I think it's about time we start correcting anyway. So, Foxtrot, I want you to go Stellar 2. You might be better served at uh, Yam 4, so let's do that. Take another three turns, but I can wait. And... With that said, talking about upgrading and all that, let's get started with enhancing my eagle. And then we'll work on a brand new frigate at least. To kind of like utilize all this custom tech. And then we'll worry about destroyer in our time. Oh. Yeah, upgrade custom blueprint, so let's edit this. And what kind of space do I have available? Not really a whole lot, so... I already got... Can I seriously get more battle pods? Is that what I'm understanding? Nope, I can only get one. That would have been amazing. Just keep throwing on more and more battle pods to get more space. That would have been silly. Ion drives, let's see. We got good engine quality. We got electron computers for accuracy. That's not a huge deal. We got Cylon. What is it? Yeah, pulse on missiles, which actually. Sh Let's see, is this damage potential? It doesn't want to tell me. So, it's, oh, it's only one extra space, so I can go with this. And there's no modifications, unfortunately, so... But it's a massive damage boost, or at least over double, so why not? 
So we'll go with four for now. Let's see. Can I replace the mass riders for anything? Definitely not death spores. Ooh, we got graviton on cannons. Maybe I could switch out the fusion beam for that quickly. Yeah, I got heavy mounts. Oh, I'm gonna get the graviton modifications pretty soon, so maybe. Let me cancel that and wait for the graviton. So we'll instead focus on my frigate. And it's oh, this is destroyer. I want to change the variation. Make it look completely different so that way I absolutely know what kind of design it is. So this should help stand out a little bit. So if I was out, best quality engines, best quality armor. Oh, it helps if I hit the right button, I'm exiting out, so that's that would suck. I put all these custom modifications and none of them actually registered. That would have been fun. I question electronic computers because I might make this more close to range. To kind of like as an escort ship for my eagle. So we'll just clear all this out. See what space I have to work with. Battle pods feel like a must though. Unless I want to go with raw numbers. Which considering I have so many like bonuses to being fighters. I might as well make these as elite as possible. So battle pods are in. Let's see. Fusion beam. Neutron blaster. What's... Well, let's see. It gives me ratings here. Fusion beam blaster. Blaster sounds better. Missiles. Let's see. Photon torpedoes. That's not bombs, is it? Eh. Yeah, not affected by po jamming or point defense. So they're like energy weapons. Potentially, so yeah, they're not bombs. And I don't want, let's see, can I get like specifics on how effective they are? It just says total DPS and total cost. Because I want these more of a point defense weapon. There's no point defense option available though from what I'm seeing, so... Never mind that, I might be going, unless they're automatically point defense, there we go. Well, never mind that thought. Damn it, I'm really restricting my options. Just a little bit. I was hoping at least I have something else outside of the mass driver that could be a good point defense weapon, but I guess not. Yeah, let's see. Continuous. Fi let's. Oh wait, there we are. Oh, that's for mass drivers. Damn it. I was excited for a moment, thinking that was uh, neutron blasters. So, let's see, only thing I don't know is, would that count, potentially, as a point defense weapon just to give it more fire? Would it actually shoot? Let's see, what do the rules say? That fire automatically on missiles and firecrafts, so dang it. And I seriously doubt Graviton Can is going to be able to be my point defense weapon, so that might be something I need to work on. Something that's more better than the mass driver. So, so much for that. We're just going to name this thing for a time being, and we'll hold on to that idea for later. So the Hawk is built. It just has no equipment on it until I actually get a proper upgrade of a point defense weapon on it. Don't worry about that. And unfortunately, Hindi Prime is not very valuable, valuable but it is kind of necessary if I want to start constructing these gas, gas giants for something more, so... I'm going to put that there. I feel sorry for the population. Oh, f food issues. I think it, yeah, it's starving. It took out one of my farmers, so we need to fix that. That was not what I intended, needless to say. So we'll just let it build normally before I start running out of too many population. Just a little bit. But we've got two calling ships already underway, so that's all good. I'm interested to see what this artificial plant construction is, which is about to finish, and this just makes it what? Ooh, it just makes it strip barren plants, so. A good size one at that. I wonder if that's randomly generated or not. But yeah, I'm liking the potential. I can make my own plants now, essentially. And with terraforming the possibly combo with it. I can make them of the fully habitable worlds. Ah, uh, things are looking for good for me, and... Sakura, I still can't do a trade agreement with you. You are making things difficult. 
I want to be on your good terms and I want to help you. But apparently, the Cylons need more help, from what I'm finding out. 